everybody, it's Ashley and MJ, and welcome back to MJ and Ashley's Little Corner. Today we're going to be doing a video on teething, because it is a, quite a process. So if you're new to teething, this is kind of what we use for our tricks and how we keep MJ happy and content and what the journey is kind of like. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So he's a little bit moody sometimes. He likes to stand and be by himself. He can't stand by himself. But since it's a video about teething, I thought it would be appropriate to bring him and do it with him instead of like trying to film while he naps. So I have pretty much what we use for teething for the most part, I will have to get one out of the freezer just so I can demonstrate, but it, it's full of bananas right now, so I can't just leave it out. Yeah, my man. Okay, let's see if he sits. So I have a bunch of toys here. Yeah. And this is all of his stuff, so I do have, and coincidentally, everything is actually itsy ritzy. We bought everything at separate times, so it we just end up using it even though it's all the same brand we didn't realize it so I've talked about this in videos and it needs cleaned but he loves his llama so we have his llama and it's these pacifiers are these sweet soothers pacifiers so I've mentioned I have quite a few there's different colors the bands are pretty cool this is the fox so we keep the llama in his crib with him and he enjoys having it with him in his crib and he'll just put it right in his mouth whenever he wants it, if he's hungry or not. Yeah, little boogers. He's crawling, so he tries to escape kind of often right now too. So we're actually in our playpen doing this so he can't escape. So another thing that we use that he actually really likes a lot are these little water teethers. Yeah, if you want. So we keep ours in the fridge. You could keep them in the freezer. They're just water little squishy gel packs. And you just, yep, puts them right in the mouth and loves it. These I find are actually really great, especially around snack time. They're pretty amazing. Obviously he wants all of them at one time. The more the merrier. Another thing that we have used that I think is a lifesaver that I actually try not to use too much is teething gel. And I really like it, especially for when those teeth are about to come out and it's nighttime and you want to sleep a little bit because that day he woke me up constantly when he has two teeth right now and when they popped up and he was teething again. So the top two should be coming through soon. And they do spike a fever sometimes too as well. So that's also something to look out for. <laughs> but I love the teething gel. It's easy. Uh, you can also use like ibuprofen and Tylenol. I try, I'm not a person to take ah! like stuff like that, painkillers or anything. So I try not to use it for on him. Not that it's like a bad thing. I, it's just me personal. I try not to take too much medicine. More things that are great are, the, this is the little glove and their little fingers can go right into it. He doesn't like the glove on him and he will just grab it. Yeah, he is all of his toys. He's just a happy camper right now. And it's a little squishy, but in it's little cactus again. It's itsy ritzy. They have so many other ones too. They have foxes and I think they have unicorns. Obviously he's a boy. I don't have a girl, so... We have all like the gender neutral to boy stuff, so we don't have any unicorns, but the unicorns are really cute. I mean, if I had a girl, I would get one. Another thing that is amazing are teething rings. Again, this is Itsy Ritzy, and this is a fox that matches this fox. I don't remember his name, but I know that they have a name, and it's great. It's literally like... You can bend it and move it, and then it has all the little rings on it too. When he chews this, he actually chews on the fox, and that's like a rattle, and it's kind of hard, so who knows why he likes to do that. Also, ah! thanks! 
Another one of his favorites is this rattle. And he keeps it in him. He likes to chew on that. Chew on that one. Nope, we like the cactus right now. Because it's cold, probably. And then along with this rattle, we do have this. He likes to chew on these as well. And he does, I have to be careful because it pop, the rings pop off really easily. But he does like the hard sensations in there. So that's also something that is easy that he likes to chew on. One thing I bought that I, he doesn't use though is this little coffee cup. I think it's hilarious. I like to give it to him. I love coffee. So I like to give him it while I drink my coffee because it's funny and it's cute. He doesn't really care for it. Whenever he chews on it, he actually chews on the bottom. But he, this is like all the same, like kind of like rubbery, plasticky. I'm not going to lie. I don't really know what it is, but it's soft and they like to chew on it. But apparently he, for some reason, likes the hard stuff. So he likes to chew on the bottom ones. <laughs> okay, so a couple more things that's really amazing for teething, and I was saying it's full of bananas, so I had to run and get this out of the freezer, but it's literally like a mesh little net. It's almost like a popsicle, and I do have bananas in it right now, and he does love it. Yeah. The only issue with these for us is when he gnaws on it and it melts is that he, he it, it melts, so it goes down to the bottom so you kind of have to hold it hold the stuff up you want that you okay hi ah. yeah you funny little guy another thing he really likes right, do you want to pull up is these little wafers and they're special teething wafers oh. So I cut, I put it, I cut it in half or just tear, rip it in half. He loves these. So this one is actually blueberries and purple carrots. Didn't know there were purple carrots until I got this, but it's, I go to Kroger. So they're just like happy baby wafers. They make them in a bunch of different flavors. And I think Gerber makes them too. We have some peach ones by Gerber, just kind of like a bunch of different ones but they're, they dissolve. So I think they're six months. I don't know. They're for, people, for babies that can sit by themselves is what it said. So if your baby's like five months and they can sit by themselves, you can go ahead and eat it. Uh, they dissolve in their mouth really easily. And I am really cautious about how they, how they like pops and stuff that he eats. So I actually will always like take a piece off when I first find something to give it to him and eat it to see how fast it dissolves without using teeth so I know he's okay and it's not a choking hazard. I always keep him around and watch him whenever he has something like that. But this sucker is amazing. We love them. If he's in his jumper and he's a little bit grouchy and he starts screaming and he's kind of hungry but his gums just kind of hurt, he likes it. He likes to be able to feed himself he does kind of get it all over the place so again I give it to him in his jumper he does not jump when he eats it but he likes it he it, it ends up everywhere he has purple on him from it earlier okay so one more thing I actually completely forgot until I picked MJ up and he grabbed it is I do have this teething necklace on and mine was nine dollars from Walmart it was actually one of the Easter gifts for him but it's great. I love it. He, he's putting on on his wafer. He likes it. He will not on it. This is my favorite thing right now, especially when we go for walks, because so it snaps apart easily and snaps together and he can chew on it. But if I'm going on a walk and I want him to have toys but not drop the toys, I will put it on him and he just gnaws on it. I don't worry about him choking or anything on it. He really loves it though. Definitely, if you can get a teething necklace, definitely recommend it. Again, it was like $10 from Walmart and it was a very well spent $10 for the teething. He always has it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, boy. 
All right, well, thank you everybody for joining us. We hope you have a great day and you have learned something or gotten anything out of these little tips and tricks for us. Thanks guys, have a great day.